So, the last time you guys saw us, we'd just finished our six week His Versus Her band build off. Boy, was that a stressful challenge. How are you feeling? Very stressed. Since then, we've kicked off the Luton's maiden voyage, and after boarding the ferry from New Haven to Dieppe, we caught up with some familiar faces in Nantes. <laughs> We've trekked 459 miles across the country. We love France! Finding some beautiful park ups on the way. And now we're ready to take you with us on our European winter adventure. Salut. Starting with Grenoble. So we're actually heading to Grenoble because Kez and Alice, the people we've been traveling with, want to go basically because it is twin towned with Oxford, which is their hometown. Woo. Isn't that right, guys? Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Let's go! <laughs> So for those that haven't realized, we are on a little road trip with Kieran and Alice, and we are gonna be heading all the way down to the southern point of Italy, to Sicily. Ooh. Right, where are we off to? We are off to Le Montagna. Le Montagna? Le Montagna. Let's go. Just give me a shout when you're ready to go. We're ready to go, boss man. Let's go, let's go. Just two minutes and we are going. Yeah, the best park ups are definitely always down the rockiest roads, right? Always. It's a rule of van life. If you're going down a bumpy road, there's always a good spot at the end. What is going on? King of the sheep. <laughs> yeah, go to the side, everyone. Oh, look at that little lamb. Wow, what a park up. This is beautiful. When Kaz and Alice took us down here, I was thinking, where are you guys taking us? But they've found a beauty, haven't they? It's totally freezing. Is it a diesel heater kind of night? I think it might be a diesel it heater might night. Be, yeah. So tonight we had a really lovely evening with Kieran and Alice and got to bed pretty early ready for a day of driving tomorrow. Good morning, we have woken up and we have got straight onto the wheel and we are on the open road again. We've just stopped five minutes into our journey to update you. We're at a stunning dam right now, where you can actually see the third tallest mountain in France. So we're just gonna do one park up between now and Turin, and that's gonna be another one right on the top of the mountain, which we are so excited to go to. So stay along with us for this little adventure through the mountains. What a time to be visiting this part of the world. The colours are all so unbelievable. We're actually so gassed up right now, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, we just went through this beautiful little ski resort, little ski chalet area, and we're just feeling so French and so so wintry, but sunny. It is perfect. There's not a better time, I think, in the in the year to visit the Alps. Genuinely, no better time. No, what a time to be alive. Should we uh, get some grub? Let's get some grub. At the top of the mountains, we stopped at a casino supermarket to grab some food for dinner. Admittedly, exploring supermarkets is one of our favorite things to do in Europe, especially being able to find some local cheap produce. It always feels like a win. If you know, you know, these are the best crisps in the world. Whenever we watch other people do vlogs, we're always interested in what they're eating, what they're buying, how much yeah. they're paying for it. So we thought we'd just show you what we're getting today. Yeah. And today, obviously, we're cooking for Kira and Alice, our friends, and they're vegan. So we're trying a little bit extra to make it... Vegan. Vegan and <laughs> carbon... Neutral. neutral. <laughs> for everyone wondering as well, yes, we are still rocking the socks and sliders combo. We're proud of it. Brits abroad, baby. So hungry. Can't even make it to the car. Here they are. Got everything you need? <laughs> 33 euros all that not bad time to get back on the road then hey. 
What do you think, babes? I think this is a great spot for the night. Me too. <laughs> I just love the mountains. We were saying like how small it makes you feel as a human when nature is just so like big and powerful. We were saying how as a kid you just don't notice that type of thing. You just don't. You don't appreciate it. But you know what? With old age comes some wisdom and I'm feeling pretty wise. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Kezi, what time is it, mate? Uh, half three. Zero o'clock, innit? Oh, you oh, It's zero o'clock. Let's go. Cheers up. Cheers, boy. Cheers, gorgeous. Cheers, baby. So, chilling done. Couple beers have been had. It's time to make some grub. For those who watched our His For Hers van build, you would have seen this whole kitchen being built. And to us, it's everything we'd need in a kitchen. A two burner hob, a sink, and a fridge. Okay, so that is falafel, avocado, some stir fry, vegetables, coriander, and some rice with some sweet corn. I hope they like it. Hey. Ooh. <gasps> oh my God. Right. If you wanted to do this, I suggest you go next door. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to enjoy our dinner now. So we'll see you guys in the morning. See you in the morning. Bye. This is so good. So I think it is time to get on the road again and head to the Italian border. You ready to go then? I'm pretty excited. I think we said we we're going to try potentially find some wine tasting when we get into Italy tonight, which would yeah. be nice. Wine and maybe a pizzeria, because when in Italy, you've got to have pizza on the first night, right? You really do. Pizza is a must. So let's hit the road and head to Italy. Italia. Italia. Let's go. Look at her, spider pig in the background. By the way, we didn't really say where we were last night. We were in a place called Brianson. Yep. It woke, it woke up very misty this morning, didn't it? It was super misty. And just as a side note, we thought we'd address this. Even though our van is fully off grid and we've been, been relying solely on solar panels, we've actually just ordered a split charge relay. Yeah, because we didn't realise that obviously in winter it gets dark at 4pm, doesn't it? You get way less sunlight hours. Yeah, and we kind of really want to have our coffees in the morning knowing that we're not going to run out of charge. Exactly. Anyway, should we go? Anyway, let's go. Italian border, right? We are so close to crossing into Italy and we are so excited to chase the sun a bit more. <laughs> okay, so no no passports at the border, nothing, no people there. Nothing, just a sign saying welcome to Italy. So we have just rocked up at our park spot in Nieve and it looks pretty beautiful, doesn't it, Nick? It looks Stunning, like so, so nice. We've opened up our back doors and we just wanted to update you with how appreciative we are that we put kind of the galley kitchen at the back of the van. It lets in so much light, doesn't it? It does, and being able to cook just a bit of lunch or whatever here with the back doors open staring out for that view, it's just amazing, isn't it? It is beautiful. But yeah, we're just feeling very appreciative as we're doing some editing, nestled in here, and looking forward to getting pissed later. So we were actually just looking through the footage of earlier and we've realised that we sound like absolute English wreckheads. We're not just here to get pissed, we're actually going wine tasting. Yeah, and we are in a red wine region, right? Red wine region. And our friends Kieran and Alice have just parked up at our car parking spot, so it means we have some friends to get trolleyed with too. Exactly. So, cue the getting pissed montage. Hell yeah. Woo it's actually getting a little bit chilly here in Italia, so we've got to have some coats and scarves for tonight, I think. We're going wine tasting! Start it up! What a lovely welcoming to Italy this evening was. And we can't wait to see the rest of what Italy has to offer, as we feel like we've only just scratched the surface of this stunning country. Look at the legs on that. Oh, it is so we. <laughs> okay, we are going to sign off there before we get a little bit tipsy and embarrass ourselves. Yes. Oh, already done it. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys tune in next week if you want to catch up with us towards the south of Italy a bit more. And next week we will be announcing our giveaway winner for our His V Hers van build. So make sure you comment on this video as this will be your last chance to enter. Team Luton. Or Team Sprinter. So we'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye. 
Oh. <laughs> 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 this was the core of me. <laughs> Imagine having a nozzle, girls. <laughs>